This is Sal here, and I'm at Stanford Medical School with Dr. Andy Connolly. Hi there, Sal. I'm here with you to discuss histology today. Histology, and, and forgive me for what is probably a silly question, but, but what, what, what is histology? So it'll be the ology study of, <laughs> but in this case, histo means yeah. tissues. So I we're going to be looking up the cellular um, components of organs. Cool, cool. Yeah, this, this looks neat. What is this? <laughs> so uh, what we're going to be looking at today is the histology of the colon. And so um, for the colon, um, we often have um, colon specimens come to me in pathology. I'm a pathologist. I see. Right, right. And so the colon, uh, like we were saying before, is the large intestine. Right. And so if you have this piece of large intestine, often it's removed um, from the patient because there's an area of cancer. I see. I see. So it's, or something that might be cancer. They don't so know. So it might be cancer. Right. They're actually pretty good now about doing colonoscopy, looking from the inside. Okay, so if they and, know it's and, cancer, that's when it then comes they'll to do you. I see. They'll often have looked inside, um, think it looks like cancer, take a little piece and send right. it to us beforehand. I see. And then we say something, and then they remove the piece. And the reason why they want to send it to you is even if they know it's cancer, how severe is this cancer? How severe is the yeah. cancer? Um, they also really want to get a good tissue diagnosis to make sure if they're going to go remove a piece of your colon right. that they really know that it's cancer right. rather than it just sort of looks like it. I see. So I it's, see. it's the definitive proof before they remove cool. it. Cool. So then um, if this is the cancer that's removed, they clearly want to be able to check the margins uh, to make sure it's been removed in its entirety. Right. But often inside of there, we'll find other um, pieces of tissue, like here's a might be a polyp. Right. Right. And when you say check the margins, this is literally just making sure that you've covered enough material that you've gotten all of the cancer in it, that you're not kind of cutting through the cancer or you've missed some of it. That's right, because this right. is actually um, one of the um, traditional surgical cures right. of cut it out to cure. Right. And for right. colon cancer, that tends to still be the case, Right. is right. you will cut it out to make sure you cure. I, there are many other kinds of cancers, though, which spread so widely early right. on right. that you don't usually cut right. out. Yeah. So, yeah, makes sense. So um, the polyp um, can be found also in a piece of colon removed. Removed, and a polyp is something that just sticks up. It's just sticking okay, up. Okay, so any any tissue that kind of sticks out like that, yeah, polyp. it's not necessarily cancerous. It's no. Polyp, so, right. for instance, another right. common place you hear about is some people in the sinuses might have sinus okay. troubles, and they'll have a sinus polyp. Those yeah. almost always are just infl inflamed. Okay. So, okay. Not cancer. And then we'll find areas in which it's just you know the lining is a little bit roughened, and we'll I take see. sections of those. I see. And that can happen just from someone being allergic to food or just... Yeah, irritation. Of irritation. Sites. So, yeah, so I just see. irritation in certain sites. Right. So right. we're going to have the areas where it's kind of irritated, um, some in which there's a polyp, something right. sticking out. We right. want to really look at it under right. the microscope. And then the thing which would probably, they were mainly worried about, the right. cancer. I see. Very cool. So that's what we're going to um, cover in the slides that we look at today. So this first one we're looking at is an example of normal margin. And so it's from a little piece from the edge. So they actually call the tissue margin. Yeah, like tissue, tissue margin. I see, I see. So this is normal tissue. So this is the, um, the edge of the specimen or the margin of the specimen. Right. And they'll say, is the margin clear? I see. And in this I case, see. this is an example in yeah. which, yeah, the margin is clear. And this is normal-looking colon. I see. And so this is a cross-section crossing the boundary of the colon. So this area, this area up top right here, this is the, literally the inside of, of the colon where the I don't know what the medical term for the, 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 the poop. Yeah, so, yeah, so stool. Yes, yeah, stool. So, yeah. Right. So, uh, much more authoritative. Yes. So, uh, yeah, that's the stool in the middle. Right. And then the supportive tissues are underneath. I see. This is part. This is essentially part of the you know the structural tissue of the, the tube. Yeah, that's, going that's through. right. Okay. All right, yeah. so let's now drive around the slide. This is a virtual slide in which we took the typical glass microscope slide right. and put it in a special machine which took lots and lots of um, – Photographs at high power, and stitched them all together as one massive image. I see. So that see. then allows you to zoom in and look around. And just to get my, my own bearings, this this polyp, or oh, this is not even a polyp. No, this, this is just a regular. This is regular. It's tissue. a little bit of a fold. A little up. bit of a fold, but this isn't a polyp. So this this distance right here, what would that be like a centimeter or? Um, yeah, about like that. Okay, about just like roughly. that. It'll probably get, be um, if I had to guess five or six millimeters okay. based on the size half, of the half a centimeter. Okay. Yep. So um, now to drive around, what you'll see is you'll begin to see me um, driving around with this arrow. And these are the controls for the program for zooming in and out. Okay. And so if I'm going to zoom in and out, you can see I click on something. And what we'll be able to do is um, wow. look at something more closely. That's and this amazing. gives us the um, looking at the – and the word here is mucosa. 
mucosa, very similar to mucus. Right. Yeah. So the idea of mucosa is it's the lining that makes the mucus, which I is see. the slimy part. I see. So it's literally, and, and it looks like what, this stuff out here is, oh, I'm, I need to draw. That, that yeah, that stuff, stuff right there. there. So this stuff up here is the slimy mucus. And so it keeps um, the linings of you know, the insides from drying out because it's right. a very hydrated gel. Right, right. Uh, but it also means that things can glide along without abrading the surface. I see. So, I see. So that's what we have there. And then when you look at it, um, it has architecture in which these are glands. They're like test tubes sticking right. down. Right. And the purpose is to um, increase the surface area. And, and the, the term gland, you hear a lot in, in medicine, is, is, is just any structure that's containing fluid and can release the fluid? How, what, what is a gland? And so, a, so a gland is an epithelial structure, so it's made of cells that are packed tightly, uh -huh. and the cells have a top and a bottom, Right. and then they're formed into some sort of infolding or structure so that there's a middle and then there's an outside. Okay, through that structure. Through that structure. Through that structure. And when you say it's an epithelium, it's kind of like the, the stuff that's facing the outside world. Yeah, so the, so the epithelium is a special class of cells right. in which they are facing the outside world, once again, tightly packed. Right. And there's always a top and there's a bottom I that see. are different. And, and even though to a, a, a lay person, th this area right here might not seem like the outside world. It seems like it's inside of you. We're kind of like big donuts. That's right. And, 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 so, and the um, colonoscopist proves right. that it's connected to the, <laughs> exactly, outside, the outside world. Exactly right. And a so, colonoscopist, yeah, they can come right in here. They and, can come right in right, there. So that is a, still the outside world. At great pain and expense. Right. And so, um, so that's still the outside world. And so um, this is the architecture where you have infoldings to increase the surface area. And it's creating this mucus. Wow. Um, but let me look um, uh, at the highest power here, which is to then look at these cells. Why well, mess around? This is a, this is cool. <laughs> so when we, yeah, when we look at these cells, there's there are two main kinds of cells. There's this one here, which is the goblet cell. Goblet cell, mm -hmm. right? And so this is, and it's it's this whole. It's not just this this white part. It's it's the part that goes all the way down there. Yeah. Or maybe here, you, let me have that pen. Let me have that. You're the expert. <laughs> so. Here it is. It's got a top like that, and then you see this wine glass. Oh, okay. So that wine glass there. Oh, it's, that's a, it's the goblet. It's, it's literally shaped like a goblet. Yeah, I was I was I was I was circling the wrong handle. No, you got the wrong nucleus. There. <laughs> the that's wrong the, nucleus. That's, that's the. That's other where cell. some other cups on yeah. the goblet someplace else. So, I see. Uh, what's next to it though are there are these these thin cells here, which do not have all the um, mucus inside of them. Where are those? And Where these guys here are just these tall ones. Oh, and I so see. You can, you, okay, and you only see the nucleus. The, the dark part is the yeah. nucleus, and that's why you don't see it. So the white part is just all this mucus inside of the right. cell. Right. So what this is is this is actually. Um, um, it's um, mucus is um, the term for either the, the the overall structure or the the material that's elaborated up here. I see. Um, chemically, it's something called mucin. I see. And what mucin is, it's almost like you know the runners who eat that goo, I where see. it's just a lot of sugar holding a lot of water. I see. It'd just be bad branding if they call it yeah. mu mucus in a bag. Or... Yeah. No. No. Well, yeah. Exactly. So uh, so they, they stick with is. goo. We'll but call it. it uh, but it's, but this one it has lots of sugars and takes on I a see. lot of water, and that's mucin. That's released, and it forms this surface um, right. here to, to let the, the stuff flow by. What the other cell does, though, is the other main thing in addition to letting things flow through is to absorb water. I see. So I the see. idea is you don't want to release the two liters of fluid that you have around every one of your right. wheels. Right. You want to get a lot of that fluid right. that, That's the main use of the of the large intestines. That is. is. It's, a, it's an absorb the water. It's a out consolidation of, process. Right. Out of the stool. That's right. Out of the, out the stool. Right. So you're going to absorb a lot of the water and see um, you're going to be doing it through these cells so, so just here. to be clear, so the, I'll do this in blue. So the, the, the mucin would come out here mm -hmm. and then the water would be absorbed by these things that don't have that mucin part. So it would be absorbed right there or... Right over, or actually, maybe like right over there. Yeah, that's I that's see. exactly right. I see. So two main functions of the colon are right there with those two cells. So now um, going back to the okay. and, and actually just to, just to get a perspective of where we are, I understand that the, the whole thing is about half a centimeter wide. Uh, what, you know, these what's our scale? Like, how big are one of these cells? Or okay, so so um, our favorite scale bar here is actually to um, look for blood vessels. And in the blood vessel is these are red blood cells. Oh wow! So that one right there is seven micrometers in diameter. Seven micrometers, and a micrometer is a millionth of a meter, or mm -hmm. a thousandth of a millimeter. That's right. So it would be seven thousandths of a millimeter. So let's round off to ten. Yeah. So about a hundredth of a millimeter. That's right. So you put a hundred of these next to each other, you get a millimeter. So a millimeter would be bigger than our entire screen right here. That's right. So wow. you'd see that with these glands, a millimeter would be about this kind of span. 
which right. we're saying up here is about like that. So that's why I was thinking this thing might be from here to here, about seven I millimeters see. across. Right, right. Something like that. But right. that's uh, red blood cells are found in almost every microscopic field, and they're always seven micrometers. Wow. So that's, that's useful. Yep. So um, so you got that going for you. <laughs> so, so when looking Maybe here, um, you've got um, this is very well – uh, formed. Um, you can see here these tubular glands. Just a hint over here is because they're like test tubes. Yeah. Sometimes they're not going straight up and down, I and see. they look a little at an angle, like they'd be going. Oh, up. so but they actually are reaching the surface. They are. We just don't see it based on the way that it was cut. So, so this one right over here, for example, this it was just cut at an angle, so it looks like it's embedded there, and it's two dimensional. But in three dimensional, we would see an actual tube yeah. popping out. And, and uh, just to go back with the microscopy, um, we're seeing this because it's only four microns thick, so I four see. micrometers thick, and we're sending light through this piece I of see. tissue. Right, so right. that's why you can get something which the cross section doesn't show you the three dimensions. Right, right. Very Makes much sense. a two dimension. Fascinating, fascinating. Cool. So, so, and, and so this is what a healthy. A, a healthy, uh, uh, I guess, what would you, a margin tissue would look like. Yeah, this is a healthy colon, and so you would um, thankfully say on the proximal margin, right. uh, which is up toward more towards the mouth, that's clear. You take another section like this from the distal margin, uh, right. more towards the end, and you say that's clear, so right. that means they've removed it all. And when you just said proximal margin is close to the mouth, you're not saying, you're saying the mouth of that cut. That, yeah. Yeah, yeah, so if this is... If, if that was the tube, you're not saying close to the mouth of the person. No, <laughs> no, which, no, no, not saying, at all. You're saying mouth of the of, of the, the, that section of tubing. That's right. So we would say the proximal distal margins okay. are clear if they look like this. Very good. Excellent.